well I call this not again and I lost the key for that uh, for that car so here is uh, a key and there is a car So we got the camera back in the garage again and here is a list of things that I have to replace. There is a water pump, something else, something else, possibly a filter for the oil. There is a set of gaskets. So in this episode of this garage life I'm going to try and get to that oil pump seal that is leaking badly there is a couple of gaskets and such and since I'm going to be taking all these things apart why not just replace the timing belt at the same time and the water pump since you're uh, removing the front engine cover let's get to it so there is a, a 12 millimeter bolt here here in front of the alternator there is a 14 on this side there's a 10 millimeter holding the expansion tank a bolt once that tension released the, the belt the alternator belt can come off loose at that point the alternator can be removed and moved out of the way like so now I have this uh, alternator tensioner bracket there is the the water pump actually under the timing belt cover the engine mount so there is a bolt 14 hex holding the engine mount to the strut tower so two bolts on the bottom and I think one bolt on the top this engine mount forward or front engine mount bracket comes out like this how far I got so far so I guess to recap a few things at this point the alternator gets disconnected there is a bolt holding it and there is a tensioner bolt that comes off this tensioner bracket gets disconnected has it's got one bolt on the bottom the engine mount whatever that is comes off pretty easy so two bolts like this holding that engine mount bracket stop rolling so those two bolts are sitting behind the timing timing belt plastic cover so that comes off crankshaft pulley that's a 19 bolt tdc at this point line this engine up probably should because i'm going to be removing the timing belt so I suppose I will just turn the engine oh, at this point until that zero lines up right there for the TDC. So far this wasn't too terrible I guess of a job. A number of small M6 bolts holding the plastic timing belt cover. Well I will have to drain coolant too before I can actually get to the water pump. But the water pump is just right here now. To remove the water pump you still have to get the timing belt off so no matter what the timing belt has got to come off and that's how much oil this engine is actually letting out and it's always dripping like this I just moved the car into the garage and as soon as I parked it there was like a puddle of oil under it. So it's not it's not a surprise that this car has a uh, two oil jars parked in the trunk. So once this bolt is removed, then the pulley itself has just barely enough room before it hits the subframe to actually get pulled off. So with this one you really have to figure out how to do it because you cannot really use anything to pry it off but in my case I could just pull pull the pulley off the the crankshaft fairly painlessly I mean I didn't want to start I had to warm it up a little bit with a heat gun 
Then I had to spray the crankshaft with a freeze fluid a little bit to <clears throat> make it shrink a little bit and then the pulley just uh, uh, well just literally slid off. This pulley is extremely important to to be removable in this case because if you cannot get the pulley off you cannot really replace anything. So once everything is out of the way you can start removing these M6 bolts that hold the plastic cover in place. Some of these are easy to get to. I guess this calls for a different tool at this point. So there are two here. Well, here's another one. I have a feeling that I will have to remove the oil pan. This one is short, by the way. There's one in the middle. So yeah, once those bolts are out, this cover comes off. That's the upper part of the cover. There is also, we also have the lower part of this cover. So there is a bolt holding this sensor right here, I think. Let's get that one off. So I got the lower part of the cover out. And now we have a full access to the timing belt. So at this point, if you're not doing the seal on the camshaft, I guess you can just replace the timing belt and remove it, get it off the sprockets. Once the belt is off, you can replace water pump. That's the full access to the timing belt. This is not the case with uh, this engine. I'm going to, I uh, will have to replace the, the crankshaft. Uh, the crankshaft seal, first of all, the water pump is here. That needs to be removed. The camshaft seal needs to be replaced. So on the left side of the crankshaft, there is the oil pump and seals on that pump leak. Like on all of these engines, eventually i guess but that's uh once the belt is off the oil pump can be dealt with so there you go that's that's what it takes to get to the timing belt on this toyota 5s fe engine so the old timing belt is out don't need it anymore it's a really short note on oil pump and oil pump seals and everything that is involved with the oil pump leak on this 5S FE engine on a uh, four-cylinder Toyota. Here is the oil pump. So, it is attached to the front of the engine with these uh, screws, M6, 1, 2, 6, like 7 screws. That's the place where the pump sits just next to the main sprocket, I guess, crankshaft sprocket. Basically, not a whole lot of to it, really. This is the sprocket held in place with this knot. This is uh, all part of the pump. And I guess those details are not that important. Well, here's the problem or the the root of all these problems with these engines. So in a, in a nutshell, the the housing of the oil pump is sealed to the front of the engine or the front cover of the engine with this o-ring type of a gasket that needs to be replaced because it becomes flat and rigid over the years. The other part of that is uh, this front seal that also may develop oil leak and this is the new seal so these two pieces these two pieces is what uh, what fixes the oil pump leak on these engines so that's as short as I can get with the explanation of this problem 
just replace this gasket and replace the seal and that's the fix for the leaking oil pump so i'm pretty much done with this job all that is left is to uh, there's a mess here to reassemble install this cover install some engine bracket mounting brackets so the other thing about this timing belt replacement job i came across instructions and they say that you have to you have to remove this front engine mount so you have to support your engine pull it up slightly i guess or whatever remove this fan remove this bolt remove three bolts on the bottom remove this engine mount and lower the engine far enough so the intention of doing that is so the engine can go lower can be lowered slightly and the crankshaft pulley actually well it comes off without lowering the engine but i suppose they they want you to do that so you can um, install whatever removal tool that you might want to use but i did not do that i i didn't really um, have a good reason to do that well there you go pretty much a conclusion to this job so this engine being assembled reassembled and well not the whole engine but whatever i did and it seems to be working i still have to replace the belt because the one that i bought was 70 millimeters too short the power steering belt is new there is water Well, I think I'm done, for now at least.